Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everyone, Dylan Combs here on behalf of Chris Perillo and YouTube.com slash LockerGnome. In this week's screencast, I want to talk about Roxio Creator Pro 2011. And don't forget to stay tuned until the end of this video to find out how you can win one of three copies of this software for yourself. We're going to give away uh, Roxio Creator 2011 Pro to three lucky viewers. All you got to do is watch the rest of this video and find out how you can win. This is the software suite that I've been waiting for for quite some time, and it's the software suite for you if you create any type of digital media. I'm going to go into some of the separate applications that they include with this and go over some of the features of those applications. It's very simple, very easy to use, but it still has some great features for the advanced users as well. You can burn disk images, copy CDs, create DVDs edit video, convert video, edit audio, edit photos. You can even create 3D media with this. For the average user, this is everything you would ever need or want to create digital media for the internet or for yourself. So let's go ahead and jump right into the software, shall we? The first thing you'll see when you launch Creator Pro 2011 is the nice little home tab that they've given you here and this window with everything in it. It's easy access to everything. You don't have to go through a folder within a folder within a folder under applications to get to what you want to do. Um, burning data disks, disk images, copying, burning audio CDs, that's all self-explanatory so I'm not going to take up your time with that. The first interesting thing that caught my eye here was creating DVDs. So when you launch into the Create DVD option, it opens up a program called Roxio My DVD and gives you this prompt here. Please select the project type, 2D or 3D. Yes, that's right, 3D. And no, it's not the new awesome type of 3D with the active shutter glasses. It's classic style 3D with the red and blue glasses. But nonetheless, I tried it out and it worked very, very well. Uh, so you can choose between standard definition and high definition. I believe there's also Blu-ray support here as well. And I'll go ahead and uh, not show this on startup in the future. So once you choose your project type, it just gives you a very simple, easy to navigate interface here. Create your title, uh, add in movies, create slideshow, put in an intro, edit movie, edit chapters. Uh, you can change the menu style, all that kind of stuff. Everything you'd want to do to customize a DVD. I also like that it gives you the quality options down here. Same as original, extra long play, uh, high quality, or you can set it to fit to disc. So if the quality is too high, it will reduce it so that you can fit almost as much as you want onto your DVD. So the next thing I want to show you is the program that comes up when you click copy and convert video. It opens up Roxio Video Copy and Convert. This is another program that they've included here that I really like. I use video conversion tools all the time being a professional podcaster and uh, soon to be video podcaster. I'm converting videos to different file formats and different resolutions every single day and this application works really really well. Uh, it has quick access outputs for DVD, PSP, iPad, um, all these different resolutions that you might want. Uh, are pre-installed right here. PlayStation, even Blu-ray, uh, 720p and 1080p. And what I just discovered right now as I was recording this is this web video option. I had never clicked on this before and I had no idea what it did. It actually allows you to get video from, well, the web, obviously. If you have a YouTube video open or any video on almost any site on the internet, you can import that video and convert it to whatever format you'd like and save it to your own hard drive. So moving along to the videos and movies tab, you get some familiar options here for importing. You can capture video direct from your camcorder or webcam that's hooked up to your computer. Uh, you can plug and burn, which is transferring videos directly from your camcorder if it so supports that. And you can also archive uh, ABCHD videos right here as well. So for editing and transferring, this is where it gets really good for editing video. If you want a very simple and easy way to edit video, you can do automatic. And that will open up Cinemagic Assistant, which will let you add photos, videos, music, and create a video very easily if you don't plan on doing much editing to it. If you just want to throw a bunch of clips together, some pictures, throw in some background music, you can do it in a matter of minutes with this. And of course, for the more advanced user, there's Edit Video Advanced. 
this will bring up Roxio's program called Video Wave and start a new production for you where you can add in videos, background music, text effects, overlays, video effects, transitions, transition themes. You can stabilize your video. This is a much more advanced and much more sophisticated video editor. It's no After Effects, but it certainly gets the job done and in my personal opinion does it better than iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. So under music and audio we see some familiar options from previous tabs but we also get this menu down here edit and transfer you can batch convert and transfer different file types uh, convert audio format send to mobile or backup from your iPod as well editing song information this was one of my favorite features in the music and audio section when I was messing around with this uh, before I did this review Everybody knows we download those songs sometimes and they're not titled correctly or the artist isn't the artist name is in the wrong spot whatever it may be this is an easy way to go it and and fix it yourself so editing audio this for me was the one that I look forward to the most because I am primarily an audio podcaster and I edit a lot of audio every week for my today in tech podcast so I wanted to see how this stacks up against uh, not only Audacity, but also Adobe Audition, which is the other program that I use for multi-channel recording. So when you click Edit Audio, it opens Roxio Sound Editor, and for my brief experience using this program, I have to say it's a very, very good audio editor. It's, it's certainly no Adobe Audition, but it's still very, very good. It's definitely a step above Audacity and still, like I said, a step below Audition. But it's a great program that's right in between the two and does everything that I need it to do for my professional editing. As you can see, you get uh, expected features with any audio editor, splitting, cutting, fading, uh, cleaning up the audio, add in sound effects and bleeps, which I use a lot for my show. You can also record directly from here, which is nice. My only complaint about Sound Editor so far is that as far as I can see, there's no support for multi-track recording. So, photos. What can we do here with photos? Import photos into your Roxio library. You can edit them, you can enhance them, you can create 3D photos, slideshows, panoramas, uh, various types of projects, labels, and you can print, email, browse, manage, and share your photos all with ease. So when you go into edit photos, it launches Roxio Photo Suite, and I can't talk much about this because I am no photo editor. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to Photoshop at all. But from what I can see, it's got some great features in here, special effects and transparencies, edge fading, um, transformations. You can do a lot of the basic photo editing stuff that you want to do. I'm not sure how well this would work for a professional, but for somebody like me that just does basic things, this looks like it would work very well. Unfortunately, I was not able to create my own 3D photo simply for time reasons. However, Roxio has created some uh, samples and included them. And obviously, in the video, these are not going to look that great. They just look like distorted photos. Uh, however, with 3D glasses, they do look really cool. And once you're done editing your photos and creating 3D photos and movies and everything, you can print them, email them, or easily share them online and send them out to all your friends. They also include the Learning Center here, which is necessary for you if you are like me and have no idea what you're doing when it comes to editing video or photos. They give, they give you some very, very good tutorials in here that you can follow and learn how to use every application that comes with Roxio Creator 2011 Pro. So there you have it folks, there's my quick little review and tour of Roxio Creator 2011 Pro. If you'd like to win one of three copies for yourself, we're giving them away. And it's very simple, you can win one for yourself. All you have to do is two things. One, you must be following Chris Perillo on Twitter. Very simple, twitter.com slash Chris Perillo. And then all you have to do after that is send out a tweet saying something along the lines of, hey, at Chris Perillo, I want to win, hashtag Roxio Creator. Most important part there, of course, is the at Chris Perillo and the hashtag Roxio Creator. Once you do that, you'll be entered to win. You have between now and Friday, December 17th is when the giveaway will be ending and uh, winners will be announced. So if you'd like to see more of my content, I am at youtube.com slash windowsguru84. Of course, Chris is at chris.perillo.com, the community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com, Locker Gnome Question and Answers at lockernome.net, and of course, the insanely famous live video stream, 
24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. See you next Friday.